I think it's important for patients to realize that uh, untreated epilepsy or undertreated epilepsy has uh, consequences that, are, that go beyond just the injuries or uh, accidents that can occur during a seizure itself. There are certain neurobiological consequences to the brain from having repeated seizures. Um, these include uh, effects on cognition. Repeated seizures can affect certain cognitive processes in your brain, such as um, your capacity to make new memories, or uh, if the areas that produce the seizures arise from close to language circuits, you can have progressive impairment of language. Um, in some patients, the repeated occurrence of seizures along certain pathways from, can sometimes set up uh, abnormal circuits in other parts of the brain. Very often, you may have patients with seizures starting out from one temporal lobe. Uh, for many years, uh, you see seizures only from one side. And then after some time, you see certain electrical disturbances on the other side, followed um, a few years later by independent seizures that come from the other side of the brain. So it is possible for seizures to, the seizure-producing network to evolve in time. Patients with uncontrolled seizures can also have a variety of psychiatric symptoms uh, as a result of the seizures. Um, foremost among them are depression and anxiety, but in some cases, uh, in the aftermath of seizures or after a prolonged seizure or a cluster of seizures, patients may have um, events or uh, psychiatric symptoms that we call post psychosis, where uh, there is disordered thinking, hallucinations, um, and a variety of symptoms that we typically associate with uh, primary psychiatric conditions such as schizophrenia or um, bipolar disorder. But these are, in these cases, uh, the consequences of the seizures they had either a day before or a couple of days before. And these can persist, and if seizures are frequent enough, become almost a constant feature of the patient's uh, um, clinical presentation. Another condition that uh, anyone with uncontrolled seizures should be aware of is something that we call sudden unexpected death in epilepsy, or sometimes referred to as sudden unexplained death because we don't fully understand this condition. Uh, and this is especially a concern for anyone with uh, either convulsions or seizures with confusion and disorientation. Um, we don't precisely understand what the mechanisms are that lead to the sudden death uh, you may have had hundreds of seizures in your life, then one, but one seizure at some point in time then is fatal. And uh, um, most of these occur in situations that where the patients are not monitored or um, in a place where they can be, you know, um, that we can uh, understand the causes. But um, based upon um, what little we know of the condition, um, the risks are higher in patients with poorly controlled seizures. So that's something that uh, you know, has to be borne in mind uh, when um, looking at treatment options for epilepsy.